Hello YouTube, my name is Willie Lacaille and welcome back to my channel. Hey, today, well, again, something a little different. We got our quad runner, 160 Suzuki four-wheeler. Uh, we've had for oh, over 30 years now. Um, it hasn't run in a while. The battery that was in it was bad. I got a new battery we're going to put in it. Uh, the main thing we're going to do right now is blow it off. And then uh, <coughs> we're going to come back, pull the carburetor out, and rebuild it. Clean it up real good. Get it going. So, uh, <coughs> all I'm going to do right now is just blow it off so I can get my hands in there and, you know, not get any dirtier than I actually have to. Uh, this thing's been sitting around and no telling there's any critters living in it. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to blow it off. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, but i to get it started right here to get you an idea of what I'm doing. Right on. We get this thing here running for long. I check my fences with it. I, I go out and rebuild fences with it. It works out real good. Uh, the side by side it has its place. Uh, walking has its place. Uh, the four wheeler serves it kind of all. All right, YouTube, we'll be back in just a little. All right, YouTube. So there's the carburetor. It's pretty straightforward to getting it out. Uh, we got to start by loosening up these two clamps here. Let's see. This clamp. And then this clamp back here. And that'll get our carburetor loosened out of there, so... Let me go ahead and, and do that real quick. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that on camera, but we'll, we'll try. I've got a flashlight and a camera in one hand and a screwdriver in the other. Well, I've had this thing off probably oh, 10 times over there. A lifetime of it being with me in fact when I bought it uh, that's what they told me it ran great it just needed the carburetor rebuilt learn how to do it and uh, I guess that's my advice to anybody that has one of these if, if you have one learn how to do it cuz um, you know shame on me I'm sure but uh, I've, I've never gone from season to season with the carburetor not needing to be cleaned Alright, so I'm going to uh, shut this down for just a second. You saw I got it loose. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart. And um, I need both hands. I'm going to put some gloves on to do that so I don't jack myself all up. Alright, let me just move you around here real quick. Make sure you're, you're getting a good shot of what I'm doing. Alright, just removing the carburetor. The fun comes when we get it off of there and put it on a bench. And then, then we, uh, we get to see what we're doing. But taking it off... You know, there's a little art to it and the trick, so you know, I'm showing that to you right now. Alright, so I've pulled off the uh, intake uh, pipe, which is this piece right here. All right, it goes from a, from a air filter uh, area right in here, um, which is this big part. And then this side right here goes into the carburetor. That's what feeds in the air. Now we're still connected to the motor end of it on um, the cylinder engine, I guess. And at this point, uh, really, it's just a matter of pulling that thing out and it'll come right on out. Let me put a glove on. What happens here is you start slipping and banging yourself all up on this there. Almost out of there. Alright, let me keep going. I'll be right back. Alright, my friends. This is where the fun begins. I got that other side off of there. 
loosened up on that clamp some more and just you know wiggle, wiggles it out of there so there's a couple things that come off and you know here's where you just gotta trust the process you unscrew this throttle cable I believe it is or choke cable I think and then it comes out this is the throttle plate unscrew it kind of scary what comes out with it but so you can see what I'm doing here I think I forgot to mention it's uh, 38 degrees out here right now uh, I can barely feel my hands this is probably like one of the best times to be doing this I'm sure here it comes watch all that now now when you go to put all this back in there's only one way and there's a groove make sure you got that groove hit lined up See what else is holding this up. We got a fuel line there. I really want to pull this out before we don't, don't tear anything up. Got a little needle. You don't want to bend that needle. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, so all that's left is our drain line back here and our fuel line on top. Okay, so I'm going to pull that off and uh, get this thing out of here. Uh, mainly because I need two hands. And there's nothing special about taking off that little drain line down there. See if you can even see it. That little drain line right there. And then the fuel line that goes in right there. And you know, depending on what this fuel line feels like, we may end up changing it as well. And what it looks like when we start blowing through it and cleaning out the fuel tank. I, I think I forgot to mention uh, that we were going to have to probably do something with that fuel tank, blow it out, clean it out, uh, run something through it, who knows, we'll see when we get to that point. But right now, uh, fixing the carburetor is, is really what we're focusing on, so, or trying to focus on. <laughs> Here we go. Back. Alright, YouTube. We're almost there. So here's a little drain line. I, I twisted on it and it broke. Uh, it's just drain hose, but it's brittle, so it's going to have to be replaced. And uh, here's the uh, main fuel line I've been pulling on it, and it's ready to come off. I'm going to get it on out of there. And there's our carburetor. All on itself. There you go. You can see the little hole where that needle went through and you can see on the wall maybe where that hole in that throttle barrel plate whatever uh, slides on in here um, where our choke um, cable goes and, and what it goes tied into and then you know here's our jets so you know, one and two. And then uh, bolts for taking the bowl off down underneath. There are four. They're Allen heads. I'm sorry, Phillip heads. A little piece of hose that broke off. And here's the drain line uh, fitting. Yeah, we'll just get to it here. It's a Mancuni. can't read the numbers underneath it oh that says corp so there you go so next thing we're going to do is you know take it over to the bench and break it down and uh, see what it's going to take to get this thing going so uh you know got a bunch of stuff on the on the bench the main thing i'm working on here right now is is uh still my trolling motor for the pontoon boat where uh, I replaced the shorter shaft and extended the shaft and, and all the cabling that goes to it. So all right I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and get everything ready and uh, get my little wash bucket over here and so we don't lose no time when we break this thing open and we get right to it and maybe I can put you back on my head 
in the position where we were at over in this other, uh, underneath the, the bike there, the four-wheeler, um, leaving you on my head wasn't going to, you were going to be reading the gas tank the whole time. So, all right, just for fun, uh, what it all looks like in here with the carburetor out. So, that would be an intake to your cylinder. Yeah, something real important, especially out here in the country, you know, you don't leave an intake like that unplugged uh, for very long. Critters will get in there and uh, by the time you get back around to it, so you know, if, if we don't finish up with this carburetor today, I'm going to stick a rag up in there and make sure that, you know, nothing hopefully gets in there. And if they do, well, they'll, I guess, pay the price, won't they? Alright, so everything's kind of in reverse of what we did, right? So, uh, the last thing we took off is the fuel line, so that'll be the first thing we put it back on is the fuel line. And then the next thing is the, uh, well, the, the, uh, drain line could probably wait to last, but, you know, if, if you're going to do it in the same order, the drain line would be next, then the, uh, throttle plate, and then the choke, right? And then you know, squeeze it into the front. And then put the back on. So that's that's the reverse of of what we did to to get it off. And that's how we put end up putting it back on, or some variation of that. So, but before we get to that, uh, I, I think at one point my uh, my fuel valve was was dirty, was leaking, was uh, not uh, running, not flowing correctly in the settings something I don't remember what it was uh, it's been a while but I have to remember that as we go to put this thing back together and maybe even buy a, a new uh, cutoff valve for it seems like I uh, <clears throat> I've, I researched it last time and couldn't find one or not one that would just you know bolt on just like kind of this one does but anyway I'll go ahead and stop it here and we'll get over to the uh, to the carburetor and start rebuilding it back on all right YouTube up on my head again here and it's time to get down with our bad cells and have a little fun see what we can figure out here okay a little McCunney carburetor take the bowl off gasket on here we want to be careful about can't feel my fingers it's cold So as I said earlier, there's a gasket under there we want to be careful about. There we go. I heard it kind of break loose. bad in there a little bit of trash not too much so um, a lot of what you know we're gonna do now is kind of the same to any other carburetor ah, there's this cold breeze blowing in here put my hoodie cover on there we go so we'll see about taking this little pin out
go. Peeling back that onion. Take this little plate off. to the next step. I believe we have to pull off. This one screws off. seals. Well, that's nice and crusty down there. You know, one cool thing about this is that you may not remember where it goes, but it only goes in one place. Yep, yep. Only goes in one place. Let's see if this was even clogged. No? I'm not going to mess with this seal. We're just going to leave it be. See how dirty it is down in there? And that's about the extent of really of what we need to do. Um, go ahead and check to see where this is at. That's half. One. Half. Okay. So one and a half on the big one. This one has a spring in it. Maybe not. And we got this little one down here. Half, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, four and a half, four and a quarter. So four and a quarter. That's a strange number. There's this one with the spring. All right. Is it? I like to put on gloves when I go to clean these things, and I really like to use a uh, carb cleaner, but I believe we're out. I believe we're out of carb cleaner. So parts cleaner is the next thing we got. That's what we'll use. I 
I got some glasses on. There you go. Oh, that's cold. A lot of times I'll fill up this bowl and put all that little stuff in there. That's probably what we'll do right now. Some of it has O-rings on it. We don't really want to do that to. And see, and that's where I messed up once before. I had a bare minimum carb cleaner kit. I had like a little, like a gallon a uh, paint bucket looking thing anyway and inside it it had a, a kit where you drop everything into a little container or whatever and you drop it down into that gallon of Behrman's cleaner stuff and and you come back a few hours later everything looked brand new but I did that with all the parts including the o-rings and everything on there and man I came back the next day and the MO rings and seals are gone. They ain't never been that clean before. Alright, we'll blow that out a little bit. That should be good. Yep, that's working. That's good, it's not plugged up. Man, I really don't want to plug in this compressor. That's what you heard at the very beginning of this video. It's loud. Alright, that looks good. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. Oh my goodness. We may have to come back for some of this. Hey, hey. I'll blow this one off too. I'm gonna 
almost looks bent. Oh my goodness, I can't feel my fingers. Alright, one more and I think we will take us a little break. This one looks like it needs some cleaning on the seals. So yeah, I prefer the carb cleaner and it's got the little uh, red hose thingy that you can stick up in them holes and really blow all the passages out real good. But I'm not seeing any, any show stoppers so far as we're going through and cleaning out this carburetor. I, I don't see why it wouldn't have started. Um, these little things that's when I really feel my fingers on fire from being so cold There's my plate. There's my screw. Not sure how I'm going to pick up that little tiny washer. I fell down into this hole right here. That wasn't good. Alright. Let's try something different. There we go, folks. Maybe we got lucky. Yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. All right. 
all that's good and tight I'm sorry y'all we're gonna have to come back I can't feel my fingers I'm liable to cut one off and stick it in there and send it on its way we don't want that all right we'll be back So we're almost there. I kind of feel my fingers a little bit. Keep on cleaning and installing. This one we said was one and a half. Half, one, half. All right. Here's the little part you need to be careful. Big old fat fingers. Go. See that? That's what turns on and off the gas, right? <clears throat> when these things get full, they float. When the bowl gets full, these float. When it goes up, it says no more, no muss. hoodie back on. My goodness it's cold out here. Oh, looks like I forgot a couple pieces there. Just like that. <clears throat> Mine's cold. Thought we were making pretty good progress there.
how far back we have to go. I see an outline of the screw on there, so it means it has to go there. this piece. Remember this piece? Oh yeah. How about that? Not bad. We're going to save that one for last. Put this piece back on. side went through, one side didn't. I believe this is the right size side. Squeeze on that. There we go. Yeah, that should be the only thing missing. Or extra.
Right on. Here, go ahead and take this off. Hold it, don't have nothing in it. Oh my goodness. Now we dropped the spring. I sure hope it was in here. If not, it went into Never Never Land. cut you off here and I'm gonna go hunting in Never Never Land down here and keep your fingers crossed otherwise it's a week waiting on this part to get here in the mail. Alrighty. Here we go you two. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I went hunting through Never Never Land and I found it right behind this here track tire and that piece of cow dung sure enough we got lucky y'all here it is let's see if we can do that again the right way I think this is the hole it goes into right there send it on its way y'all I don't think we're gonna get that lucky twice so if I remember this one was four and a quarter from all the way in, which didn't make sense, but all right, just to make sure that's all the way in there. There's close, so there's half, one, half, two, half, three, and a quarter. All right. Let's see. 
So that pretty much finishes up the uh, carb rebuild. Now we just gotta get it installed back into the, the bike. I need to warm off a bit before I go tackling that again on this cold day. So, but we're, we're definitely gonna get it done today. I'm just not ready to get under there. My bones hurt. This is my little makeshift mattress that makes things comfortable down there. Right on. We'll be back.